What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. You know, sometimes when stuff break down, people throw it away, only to replace it with something new. But then you got some people that find value in the stuff people throw away. Because to them, it might be something they were searching for and it's valuable, so they restore it and cherish it and keep it for themselves. Today, I want to read a scripture for the ones that feel thrown away by people they care about or may have experienced heartbreak or just feel like you can't get a break in life. In Psalms 34, verse 18, it say, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Today, I want to let you know that God still wants you. If people may have pushed you aside, if people may have broken your heart, if you feel crushed in spirit, how you can heal is understanding that God has not thrown you away. He draws near to the brokenhearted. He's closest to those that feel crushed in spirit. Because he wants you to know that you can come to him for anything. You could talk to God about anything that's pertaining to your life. And you can trust him with the stuff that you may have kept secret. See, God wants to heal you. He wants to restore you. He wants to use you in a mighty way. But first, you got to believe that he can do all things in your life. God still wants you even when everyone else has looked past you, when people has despised you because you have been set apart. See, the reason why your life was harder than others is because God chose you. That's the favor of God. See, it's through our brokenness that draws God closer to us. And only he can fill that void that's in our hearts. See, people reject what they don't value. So the reason why they may have treated you differently is because they don't understand what you carry, what God does, because he's the one who placed it there. And that's his divine purpose, his divine calling that he has over your life. God wants to use you in a mighty way. And sometimes in order to preserve your life, he has to hide you in plain sight. So it's not that people didn't want to deal with you. Sometimes people have to mistreat you in order for God to develop your character. See, it's preparation. God is getting ready to use you in order to fulfill his will, the will that he has over your life. And sometimes that's why people can't find no use for you because God already has found use for you. See, one of the hardest truths to accept that I'm learning in life, some people rather see you broken than restored. I remember reading about this guy that was born blind, right? And the disciples asked Lord Jesus, who sinned? Was it him or his parents? And Lord Jesus said, nobody sinned. He was born this way so that the power of God may be manifested in him. So that when he becomes healed, basically, his life will glorify the name of God. So Lord Jesus, he spit on the ground and he made clay and he put over the man's eyes. And Lord Jesus told him to go wash in the pool of Siloam. So that's what the guy did. He, he went to go wash in the pool and his sight was restored. And so what happened was the Pharisees asked him who restored your sight and the guy said basically he didn't know who did it but all he know is he was blind and now he see because you got to think about it lord jesus he made clay and put over his eyes and he told him to go somewhere else so when his sight was restored he didn't know who did it you get what i'm saying so to make a long story short, the Pharisees, they went to the guy's parents and 
out of fear they didn't want to tell the Pharisees who did it because they didn't want to get kicked out of the synagogue, right? And so they said, he, he is of age. Ask him because the Pharisee asked his parents, who restored your sight? And so they went back to the guy and he said, listen, I was once blind, now I see. So out of anger, they kicked him out of the synagogue. And Lord Jesus heard this. And he found the man and he spoke to him and he said, do you believe? And he said he believed. The Pharisees didn't want to believe that Lord Jesus restored his sight. They much rather see the man remain blind instead of healed. See, sometimes we are born in particular environments that's meant to break us down or we're born with certain conditions that causes people to turn their back on us simply because of this right here. In John 9, verse 3 through 4, Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night come when no man can work. And in verse 5, it went on to say, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. So sometimes when people are pushing you aside, it's because God wants what nobody else wants. They might not want you. They might look over you. They might turn their back on you, but God isn't. So continue to glorify the name of God. May his power manifest in your life so that he can use you in a mighty way. And always remember, if you're in a dark place, just know Lord Jesus is the light of this world and he can pull you out of that dark place. God wants to restore you and he wants to build you back up in front of the people that broke you down, in front of the people that kicked you out of their community. Because when you're set apart, that means you're chosen by God. And sometimes it ain't going to feel good because we want to belong to something. So why not belong to God? God wants you to belong to him. He wants to do things for your life. He wants to heal you. So allow Lord Jesus to be in your heart. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.